Uh, my name is Meredith and I'm here from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire to share a fun spring activity with you. This is an art activity that can be done two different ways. So what we're going to be doing today is making some bunny art for springtime. So there are a couple things that you need to do this project. You can either paint for this project or you can do some collaging for this project. So first you might want to decide which one you want to do and then your materials will kind of depend on which one you choose. If you are collaging, what I did was I found a magazine and I cut it into all of these little strips and it's fun if it's, mine was a seed catalog, so it's fun if it's a magazine that has lots of colors and pictures, not as many words. It's kind of fun to go through and find colorful pages and tear those out and then cut them up. And you will need some glue or Mod Podge if you're going to be collaging. Um, you can make your own Mod Podge by taking white glue and watering it down a little bit and then um, mixing it up, you can make your own. Um, and a glue stick works okay for this too. If you are going to be painting, what you need is some paint. And to make this a little more interesting, instead of a regular paintbrush, what I did was I clipped some cotton balls onto a clothespin and we're going to be using those as our paint brushes just for something kind of different. So here's what we're going to do. So you also need a piece of cardstock or construction paper, that would be fine too. And before you get started, you as the grown up will want to go online and find a picture of a bunny. Um, some kind of bunny, I think I looked up bunny silhouette. And then you're going to very carefully cut the bunny out so that it looks like this. Okay, that's your first step. So once you invite little ones to start doing their art activity, um, depending if you are painting or collaging, you are going to put your cardstock down and let's say they're painting, invite them to paint. So you're going to take your Bella online content mascot Bella has made her presence known. All right, I think she's okay. So you're going to take your um, cotton ball on a clothespin, dip it in a paint, and then do some dabbing of your paint all over your paper. And this is kind of fun because it looks a little bit like a bunny and you're hopping like a bunny while you paint. And you can do all the different colors Oops. and hop around with the different colors and do your painting. And once you're done, it'll look something like this one. And then you're going to leave that and let it dry. And then for your finished product, you're going to take that nice bunny silhouette that you have and put it over your painting. So you have this really cool springtime decoration and this could be a card that you leave someone you could put this in the window you could just put it on the fridge um, whatever you want to do with this that's the painting bunny project now if you're going to collage what i do is i used mod podge for mine so again you can do this with watered down glue um, you want to take your mod podge paint it on there and then you're gonna put your strips down. So you're filling in that same center section that our painting was, so you get the cool bunny. Um, I won't make you watch me do this whole thing. You get the idea. What I did at the end of mine is that I also painted over it. Um, so it just seals it and it makes it shiny when it dries. And then your finished product here is going to look something like this. Again, when you put your bunny on top, it looks very cute. So that might be a good one for some of um, our older children that are wanting to get crafty at home. The collaging might be kind of fun for them. So that is our fun springtime craft for you this week. I hope you have fun creating this, and if you do make a bunny, um, tag us and let us know. We'd love to see what you're creating at home, 
and we'll see you again soon.